Hello there, and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I have coerced my colleague to, into playing Toho Double Focus, which is the uh, sort of uh, packaged bonus game with Toho Gensa Wanderer, uh, featuring Aya and Momiji, a couple of the characters that I know next to nothing about. But it's supposed to be a fun little side-scrolling adventure about being stuck in a magical book. Ooh, save slots. Let's go with first-time players, since I don't even know what the buttons are. Alrighty. So, the game starts with them getting sucked into the book. Uh, Aya, the character on the right, was hoping to get a good story because there was a mysterious book. They opened it and got sucked inside, kind of like Gumby. They were in Gensokyo a minute ago, and then they got sucked into a book. Uh, Kosuzu was the uh, storekeeper. Uh, uh, she was she was reading the title of a book called The Book King when they came in, which I assume is the magical book they got sucked into. Yeah, we're probably going to have to... Uh, should we be doing voices? I don't really feel qualified to do a lot of these voices. I am, I am not good at voices, but... Uh, Ah. I'm glad someone's there to explain to our clueless protags that uh, we're inside of a, a magical book. Mm. I see the little blue-haired gal has already decided to try to tunnel out. <laughs> I think she landed with a bit more impact than everyone else. Didn't really recover quite like everyone else. Legend says the book sucks any who look inside into the book world and they want to control all books. Hmm. So they like what? <laughs> Tor or Penguin? <laughs> ah, that's good. I like that. Still thinking about the story. Very dedicated reporter. No one will believe it, of course, because I has a penchant for um, exaggeration. exaggeration. Yeah, for exaggerating or perhaps publishing half baked stories that haven't been followed up on enough. I mean, it'd be like, oh man, I'm going to report this to the Weekly World News. It's going to be great. Oh, the Weekly World News. Some of our younger viewers won't know what that is. That's a shame. You should definitely Google it. Batboy is just charming. Mm. Back when tabloids were fun. Yeah, yeah. Was I mean, that was that was really sort of like the alternative news of its time. But nobody took it seriously. That was the difference. Like, yeah. it was very obviously for funsies. Oh, let's just go back up. See a distinct lack of wings? Well, I mean, I as a crow tengu, I might be able to no, do it. No, I think that little girl is trying to tunnel away. I think so. I'm trying to land shark it up. <laughs> Where are all of our superpowers? Ah, they're literally sealed away because of story reasons. <laughs> oh, plot convenience. <clears throat> so what I'm getting out of this is that uh, the Book King rates trash fan fiction. Yeah, I mean, yeah, basically. Our skills mm. and abilities are trapped in books. If you find your skill book, you should regain your abilities. Oh boy. Already excited. <laughs> hey, we found our first book already. This game is dirt simple. Oh yeah. It's a portal book. The register is a warp spot if used. How do you Can know read? this? Well, she's a librarian. She knows stuff about books. Well, yeah, but... It's clearly part of library studies. Uh... <laughs> if your books are magic. I suppose. How convenient. Very convenient. Like a plot Like convenience. a plot hole. It's a literal plot hole in a book. I like it. 
Uh, and you can only use it once. Uh. Well, we'll just go I like the, the little kid's storybook look of it. Like, even the little dotted outlines when they disappear. Oh, yeah. Oh, other people may be trapped. Good job. And, uh, and we, yep. we didn't listen to the explanation. That's great. Okay, I seem to have control. So, when looking this game up, it says there's a co-op version. Uh, I don't know if that was included in the PS4 version that we're rocking, but I hope so. <laughs> why are you in a bookshelf? No, uh, why not? <laughs> Kasumi's like, no, I'm staying here. Yeah, that's fair. Alright. My character admitting that they do not care that they've sealed us in a book and may have doomed all of Gensokyo. <laughs> well, I mean... <clears throat> Save progress, HP restored. Nice. That's our level select. No. Ah, oh, Sphinx. Half behind it. I'm not strong enough to move it. It also looks like there's something above the stage that I can't quite get to. No. What are those ability circles in the corner there? I, uh, I have that move there. Uh, oh. That was a little counterintuitive, I'm not gonna lie. That took me a bit. I, I don't normally go left on this sort of side scrolly game. Ah, oh, man, the book world is connected to stuff. That is what the librarian said. <clears throat> oh, we get to name them. Castle area. The Imperial Throne of the Imperial Ancestor. That's a mouthful. Oh my god. So, my jump is really weird. Uh, it does seem like the longer I hold it, uh, the higher I can go. And then if I tap it a second time... Or no, oh! If I hold up, I can flap for a bit. But it doesn't seem like I can really move while doing that, so I don't know how useful that's going to be. Oh my god, you're adorable! And now you're gone. Man, I hope that was a bad guy. It seemed like it. These games usually don't have helpful things. Very strange. I don't know what I was expecting, um, but, I mean, this is very different from the other uh, games of the franchise. Uh, for any of our viewers that might be familiar with it, they're all, like, top-down shooter-type games. But uh, Nipponichi Software has been adapting some of the quirkier other titles. Ah, oh, gained active skill, perfect shot. I don't know what it'd do. Oh, it's my camera. Okay. I can take pictures of stuff. Somehow. I wonder if my flight skill will get better once we find the book it's in. Mm. Probably. Yes, cower before me. 
Why are you making that person terrified? No, they were like that when I got here. <laughs> Even if you read a book that's not at that uh, bookstore, you'll still end up getting sucked here. It has connected to all books. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> I think that might be her under the table. She was asking where, like, the other character was. Ooh. I wonder if that'll be easier if I use the D-pad. I keep ducking unnecessarily. Yeah. Wow, extra portal books are good. Yeah, I think the D-pad's gonna be my friend here. So, this game was released, like, I guess back in, like, 2014 for uh, Komike. Uh, so it's definitely a fan work, and uh, I, I do expect it to be a little less polished than some bigger books. Oh, definitely an enemy, by the way. I landed on it, it was bad news. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, it was just a quirky little fan work that uh, Nipponichi Software now owns the rights to. And I guess they figured, what the hey, let's package it with one of our bigger titles as sort of a a little extra. I appreciate that. I think it's kind of a cool idea. This certainly isn't a game I would have gone out of my way to get on its own. Um, but I'm perfectly willing to sit down with it for a couple of minutes and check it out with, with y'all. Okay. Clearly there's a book I need to get through these things. But it's still cutely animated, and the characters are adorable. Oh, yeah. No, I think the art style works well for this sort of not serious adventure. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not supposed to be super serial. Not quite. <clears throat> but no, it kind of reminds me of some, like, early Flash games. In terms of, like... Just being sort of a quirky, weird little platformer. Uh, I am curious when the bullet hell part gets into it. Just because I remember... Am I hurting? Yes, good, okay. Really not sure where the hitboxes on things are, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Please use those books. I've been wondering that myself. I'm also curious how to get at that other character. Oh. Hey. There you go. Oh, I have. Not sure what my perfect chat's gonna do in this context. But at least I have things that I can hit on those buttons now. Ah, it's got a little range to it, okay. I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah. I might want to use one of them cure books, though. Oh, you're not wrong. But you know me, I usually have a pile of healing items and many deaths to my name in this sort of game. Yeah, that's true. That's not me saying it's a good way to play, it's just that it ends up being how I end up going about it. <laughs> how did the triggers work out for you? What's that? Triggers do oh, there we go. Left trigger switches characters. I should probably equip you with some stuff if I have anything. Not yeah, really. Uh, at the very least, let's let's equip cure potions so that it's an option. <coughs> I have my big sword. Much more damage, but I am also supposed to be much uh, slower by comparison, because Aya is supposed to be one of the fastest characters in all of Gensokyo. Once she gets your time stop abilities. Well, yeah. <laughs> I can climb up things. Because I'm a pupper. Yay. Oh. 
looks like you don't share health bars either. Which is nice. There we go. I do like being able to just run up things. That's very convenient. Which Hello, one? floating disembodied head. There we go. The <laughs> uh, yokai head that left its body. Your stomach is literally empty. <laughs> it's not even here. Alright, sure. That is a weird item to get. Yeah. <laughs> this interpreter is a crazy murderer. Bag full of heads. No. No. <laughs> you didn't fall for it. Yeah, we found a thing. We did find a thing. You really gotta stop taking long falls in unknown space, you know that? <laughs> bad for your health. It probably is bad for my health, but... Eh. Nothing ventured, nothing new. Oh, hey, you could probably get that book. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm able to just run around on walls. That red thorn looks really lethal. Ooh. Yeah, I'm hmm. not seeing... Not until you can fly, I'm not seeing a good way for... Yeah. No, that looks like a bad... Not unless the plan is to get invincibility boost from the yellow ones. <laughs> that is probably the speedrunner way of doing it, but uh, I don't think I can manage that. I remember seeing a, a platform, but I really didn't want to wait for it. You saw a platform, right? I'm not mm -hmm. just losing my mind. Let's go really up there. Or up and over. I did see a platform that was bumming around up there. Oh, there you are. That is a platform I don't want to miss. That takes like a million years. And now we can just sort of casually chill here. Aw, oh, look! <laughs> I look so, so peaceful. Let's go this way. That <laughs> looks trap-tastic. I was gonna say, if this was Shovel Knight, I'd be digging all that treasure up right now. Okay, I can't interact with any of it. Locked, Locked door. door. Thank you for not being somewhere else in your route. <laughs> Portal book, that's good. <clears throat> oh, down there. No, that oh, was no, that was where I came from. Man. I guess that way. I'm noticing a lot of uh A lot of just sort of uh, obstacles that are like, yeah, you don't get to do that yet. <laughs> yeah, it's the staple of the uh, Android game. Right? Mm. It takes like all of my stamina to do it, but it's mm. probably super powerful. Nothing in there. But I got another skill. Yeah. I now have my big FU sword slash. Came from there, right? Yeah. 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 
Whee! I run fast. Now you think you'd be able to run under there. You're a die. Yep, totes. <laughs> I am super good at this game. Gosh, even. Hope I didn't lose all my progress. I did. That's kind of rough. Well, did you save it? I didn't know how to save. I didn't run into another save point. Oh boy. I have a backwards dodge. Gotta go collect all my things again. Uh -huh. Might be slightly less exciting second playthrough, I do apologize for that. Alright. Still trying to figure out a good way to traverse terrain quickly. That isn't absolutely ridiculous. Do you think running backwards may actually be faster than. Oh, I get a shield! That, that may have been useful to know that last time. You are your shields. Well, I can try, but yeah, you're right. Alright. I feel like I'm getting something close to the hang of this. I'm proud I haven't had death by spikes yet. That, that'll be my my one thing I want to say. But I'm usually a sucker for a room full of spikes. Oh yeah. I will say all of the platforms moving super slow like that is a little annoying. Not because I don't like uh, time to do my platforming, but because it means that I'm just sort of hanging around a lot. I guess it's just that one statue that has a person in it. Nope. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Yeah, that works pretty good. For me? Yeah, that wasn't bad. I do not for the life of me remember where my cool skill book was for the, the big attack. I do like that they flail wildly with their swords, like, Oh no! I wasn't trained for this! <laughs> I am very much enjoying being able to run, like, on M, pretty much any surface. That definitely makes navigation easier. Yeah. I almost seem like I know what I'm doing. Almost. I don't know if it was worth it. I might have almost wanted to take the hit just not to have to wait. Alright. No. And I'll form the head. Oh, 
All right. We're almost back to where we were before I foolishly died. Bombs. All right. So, uh, anybody who's actually played this game or any of the games in the franchise, like in the comments and, you know, tell us what you think, what your favorite Toho game is, why I'm doing it wrong, why the best character is Fondre. Or, you know, whoever you think your favorite character is. That's fine, too. Speaking of pure books... Oh, yeah, I haven't even bothered to equip them. And it did show me very, like... Plainly, that it doesn't matter how many you have, it does matter how many you use. I have to actually cast. There you go. Ah, okay. Casting time. Got it. Ow. Why are you picking up my guy? I don't know. It's fun. But you're right. I probably could have just continued on my merry way. Although, I'm curious where I'm going. I think I may have backtracked a bit too much. Although that was useful. Mm. See if you can run underneath. Hmm? Okay. Ah, That's yeah. They look so scared of me. <laughs> oh, I mean, they are like murder monsters. they are like one head tall, I suppose. I am, by comparison, a giant. Mm -hmm. I do like that it took like two of them to pilot the suit of armor, though. That was very cute. It makes me wonder who they made the armor for in the first place. I am curious about that as well. Right. Bones. But your skill was somewhere around here. Maybe across the other way. Maybe. <laughs> Of course, for the folks watching this who have a memory of more than two seconds, they're like, no, it's, you know, in whatever room it's in. Bottom right, I think. Yeah. There are only so many directions to go. We're bound to get it right eventually, folks. Or, you know, die again, which is also very likely. What's to the left? Ah, there it is. Oops. There we go. Right, get on the platform. <clears throat> See, that way was a door we couldn't open. Right. There was a cure book this way. Or a portal book. Was the door came through, right? Yep. yep. Um, wasn't there some weakened thing that I might be able to split with a helmet splitter, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Back near the beginning, the bank. I wonder if it's going to have his backtrack all the way. A convenient game extender that I really won't fault them for using, because, like I said, it's like a fan game that has gained a life of its own via this unique release. if we went this way. Ah! Okay. You hold that down, can you aim it? No. Oh, okay. It's just in the after image of the targeting reticle, which probably... This is the camera. That's where it hits, roughly. So, head down. Oops. Well, there goes my streak of not of not hitting any of those obviously placed spikes.
Oh, those things bounce with some range. Hey, look, it's that body. Or a body. Probably the same thing. your body? Hooray! Sucky bodies. <laughs> Hooray! Good, we probably found your body. Unless there's something hidden behind the pillar. Which was my first thought was hide it in the the background there. Whoa. Well, they don't take much to kill, but uh, those spells look painful. Okay. Skills! <laughs> that is the coolest I will look at this entire playthrough, and I know it, so I'm going to take advantage of it and be... Yeah, I meant to do that. So, speaking of cures... Oh wait, there was a thing up there. Like a door I wanted to go through. You got hurt by the... I did walk into them, yes. It doesn't start and stop on a dime, I'll be honest. But, uh, you know, I've certainly played worse. A passive skill parry. What's that? Well, sounds like a parries. Low probability to evade enemy attacks. Yeah. We'll see how it works. And I can always. Is that? It is! It's little head comes off though after it swings. That's adorable. And terrifying. <laughs> Got him. I did. I like that they had a very chibi pyramid head. That was that was delightful and unexpected. Oh, there's the other half of that room. I'm not sure how we're supposed to break those things. I'm sure there's a skill book for it, but... What have I done? Come back, platform, I need you. Well, she looks like she's rocking out. I think they're asleep. Mm. Stunning, as usual. <laughs> what? what? That I'm I'm with Omiji. <laughs> that really came out of your mouth. Look of soul. Why did you have that? Why do I still have your head? I gave it away. Hey, Book of Souls. Your max A. Nice. How do I use it? I think though? it's just, uh. Yeah, it's just happy. Okay. Oh. Ah. Why did you say I've been waiting for you? I mean. Technically. Define responsible. <laughs> uh, that is... Omiji just doesn't care and is really worried about that spike. Aya's, Aya's newspaper is, is what sucked her in, I guess.
Oh my goodness. That was rough. And I think on that note we may be ending our uh, initial foray into the game. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us how I'm doing it wrong. Uh, recommend whichever Toho game you think is better. Uh, thanks again for watching.